Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get one oracle card and then we are going to break into the tarot deck. Please bear with me as I shuffle. I just think it's really important to shuffle on the screen. It's a pet peeve of mine, so just bear with me. Ooh, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. That's a good message, isn't it? This is for Scorpio. March 12th to the 18th. Again, this is in regards to love. If you're not looking for love, if you're in a happy ever after relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching this. You may be in your head. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what's going on here. You may be in your head, okay? You may be feeling a little withdrawn, um, confused, not sure where you want to go. Your intuition is talking to you, and you may be denying it, okay? Really, really pay attention to what's going on in your intuition and with your thoughts because, you, you know, they don't lie. Typically, they don't lie, especially to you, Scorpio. You know, and you, the thing is, is it's time to acknowledge the truth. You can't live in denial anymore, right? And I think that you know what the truth is, whatever this is. You know what the truth is. You can't procrastinate forever, and I think that you're coming to some sort of realization, even though you might not want to believe it. You may be feeling like you're at a loss. <laughs> you may be feeling like you're losing money, or you don't have enough money, or you're not feeling good about yourself at this time. You're probably feeling down. I mean, you are. This is what it looks like to me. Somebody isn't feeling very good about where they're at. And you know, it's like, there's a lot, this is a loss of self reversed. There is a loss of self here. Repression. And that's what's going on. I think you guys are, are, are getting these emotional uh, thoughts. You're being overloaded. I think you're being overloaded and you're letting your thoughts, your fears, your... Whatever it is, get the best of you. I think you know what the truth is of a situation. And it, the truth isn't what you were hoping. So it's getting the best of you. And you're thinking about moving away from a situation. All you want is peace, right? You know, I think I might have to leave this situation, whatever it is. It's like I want to get away from here. And that could be in your head. This could be you wanting to release these thoughts and, and just get them out of here. Okay. It feels like somebody is absolutely um, being dishonest. They're being dishonest. And whether it's you being dishonest with yourself, which kind of looks like this is what it is, or somebody's been lying to you. And maybe that's what you know. Maybe that's what you know. There's some kind of dishonesty here, whether it's you being, you know, not wanting to accept the truth of a situation or whatever, or somebody is actually being dishonest with you and you know that they're being dishonest with you. And that's why you're in your head because, you know, that shit hurts. So it feels as though you're being tested. You are being tested about... Um, your awareness is being tested. This is lack of awareness. But the thing is, is you are well aware. You are well aware of what's going on. You are, but you're denying it. You're denying it. You know what's going on. You've got the, you've got the scoop. You do. 
oh my gosh, gosh, whatever is happening is making you feel like really lost, okay? Really, really lost inside. There is a loss of self this week, and I'm really sorry. You know, these energies are fluid. This could have already happened, may not have happened, because this is a forecast. This is being done before the week, and that's what people don't understand, okay? You've got to really watch this during the week that it is uh, recorded for, all right? Really consider that. Something is happening that is, is probably making you or going to make you feel the need to retreat. To rest, I think that something is happening that is causing you to feel lost and really in your head. And the thing is, is that you know what this is. You know how to handle it. You do. Whenever it comes up, you're, you're, it's like you didn't, you saw this coming. You were never really in the dark. The only darkness you had was you not following your intuition. When your intuition has been telling you all along. But the intuition may not align with your heart. So that's a problem. Okay? That is a problem. So it feels like you there's a there's a loss of self here this week because of some unfairness, some lies, or injustice. Okay? That's the basis of your reading. There's some sort of injustice that really messes with your head. We're going to get some clarifiers, but I want to zoom this in. Hmm. Can't shuffle these like that. We're going to get some clarifiers here for Scorpio. There's something you want to get away from. I just want to get out of here. I do. I want I want out. I'm sorry. Maybe you just want out of your head. I mean, that could certainly be the case. It's like I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play. No. No. I deserve more than this. I deserve more. Why is this happening? I don't deserve this. I know that I deserve more. You could be rejected. Maybe you maybe you offer somebody something and they reject it. Because this is a rejection of an offer. Maybe you reject it or they reject it. And that's, you know, that can hurt. Um, maybe you reject offer or they reject. Maybe there's somebody that rejects an offer that you make. Okay? Or it's you. Somebody is rejecting an offer that, for growth. Okay? For some sort of... New security is being an, an offer being rejected. Now, this could be in regards to a job. You're definitely being tested here. You are absolutely being tested. You're being tested in regards to your able ability to follow your intuition. Okay? Seriously. It appears to me that there was some, or there is, there could be a new opportunity, an unexpected new opportunity that gets rejected. Now, this is an opportunity um, in love, whether it's you or somebody else, but it could definitely get rejected. Yeah, there's no chance. It's like, no, I don't want this. So that could be why you're in the head. This is the uh, judgment card. It's in reverse. It feels as though there's a lot of doubt here. Doubt that it could work out. Whether it's you or the other person. Somebody is probably rejecting an offer to expand with you or to work with you or to do something. There's a change of course. There's a change of course. It's destiny. There's a reason why this didn't work out, whatever it is. Because it wasn't meant to. Okay, that's the Ten of Swords. If something didn't work out because it wasn't meant to work out, wasn't destined to work out, and it, you may not see it like that. You may not. It feels like there's some kind of betrayal here that, or I think betrayal is kind of a hard word. It's kind of a, 
it's not really the word I'm looking for. It's um, some kind of, well, we have the Ten of Swords next to the Four of Swords. Those are both the end. So it's the end. It's like a death of it's death of something. It is. I think there's some ending, and another ten. There's a lot. There's a completion here. There's some sort of completion that you may have seen coming. That you may not have wanted to happen, but it's inevitable. Hmm. Because you know, there's new more. There's ex, there's exciting opportunities that you may not even see yet. There's new paths. Okay, there's a new path for you to go down after this change of course, after this completion. But you have to free yourself. You have to let go of this mental conflict. Seriously, there's a lot of mental conflict here. It's like you're feeling trapped. You are being tested, there's no doubt. It's like I'm being, you are trapped in a situation that needs to end. Trapped needs to end so that your luck can change. And so that you can go down a new path, a new exciting new path. Something that you are trapped in needs to end so that your luck can change and you can go down the, a better, ex, more exciting path. And this card also signifies that you need to act on your hunches. You are being tested. Can you really, really follow your intuition in this matter? It feels as though you are starting to come out of the darkness. You're starting to see the light, and sometimes that light's a little bright. It's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. It's time for you to, um, your hard work to, to pay off, okay? Because we have the hard work, a couple, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. You've come a long way. You've come a long way. You don't want to just not keep going, right? You've invested a lot. You've invested a lot in yourself. This is divinely guided, by the way. Okay, this is divinely guided. Something is happening that is it's happening to change your course, to change your path, because it's destiny, it's time. It's time to let something end. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. It's time for you to put yourself back on top. You've, you've invested a lot in yourself. You should be on top, right? Self-love. You're being offered this raw opportunity for happiness and love. But I think this is self-love. Yeah. Because, you know, we got you here. Could also be new love. It could be if you're single with a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I really think it's you. I think it's you loving yourself, needing to love yourself. To do the, be honest with yourself. To do the right thing for you. Put yourself first. To bring, bring balance back to your life. This is self-love. Okay? It's also independence. Because 11 plus 1, that's a 111. 111 is independence. It's also about your thoughts become things. Okay? It's also a spiritual awakening. It's also things happening very, very quickly. Okay? And you're highly, highly intuitive at this moment. You are. You know what this is. I don't even have to tell you. You already know what this is. I feel as though this is following your path that your intuition is telling you to follow. And once you follow your, your, your real true path and not deny your intuition, that's when this, this love uh, blossoms. And this is your own self-love. It truly is. It is. This is when you do the right thing for you. And you make a decision, because this is a decision. You're seeking balance, right? Because wherever you were at, there was, there was no solid commitment. No solid foundation. And now it's time for you to bring balance back to your life. 
so things can get solid again instead of all wishy-washy with indecision. It's like you've been blocking, you've been blocking growth. You've been blocking growth. You've been blocking yourself from seeing the light because it was too bright. You know, it was too hard to accept. And that's what this is. You were being tested and now you're, now this, I think you're being called to make a decision which you've been so reluctant to make. It's time to make a decision. It's time for a change. It's time to take the next step. And that's where this indecision comes from. It's been, uh, do I, what the hell do I do? It feels as though you feel like you deserve more. And I think you do deserve more. I think you've put a lot of investment into yourself. You've worked hard on yourself, you know, and now it's time for you to love yourself to the point where you need to do what's right for you. Love yourself, love, do what's right for you. That's what this is. You need to do what's right for you. Because wherever you're at, it's not solid. And there's a lot of uh, miscommunication or no communication at all. Nothing is happening. Nothing is moving forward wherever you're at. And that's where all this indecision comes from. There's no growth here. And you may be feeling very, like I said, this is the last card and the first card. And we're done. And we're done. And I was planning on being done. First card, last card. In your head, there's self-doubt here. There's confusion. There's illusion. There's feeling withdrawn. An inability to make a decision even though your intuition knows what to do. So my advice for this week is follow your intuition and do the right thing for you. Talk to you later.